Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Let It Be by The Beatles. Fantastic song for uke. Only got four chords. And what's more, they're the four chords that are really easy on uke. We only need a C, an A minor, an F, and a G. So I'm going to do a little close-up. I'm going to show you the super easy version of how to play it. And then we're going to do a little bit more complicated. I'll show you a couple of the different tricks that you can get to kind of bring out a little bit of the melody and stuff, which just makes it sound that little bit more slick. So uh, let's get to that close-up. So the first four chords that we have for the intro are C chord. Okay, we just need that one finger down. You could use different fingers on that one note. It doesn't really matter which one it is. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. So that's a C chord. We've got that for two beats. Then we go to a G chord. Zero, two, three, two. For guitar players, it looks like a D chord. But this is a G chord on a uke. Uh, for the A minor, we just need one finger. It's usually the second finger, second fret of string four. It's the only one we need. And then for the F, we just leave that second finger down and put first finger in the first fret of string two. Okay, so that first chord sequence is two strums on C, two on G, two on A minor, and two on F. Then we've got C, G, F, and C. Again, that intro, C, G, A minor to F, C, G, F to C. So the verses use exactly the same chord sequence that we used for the intro. So let me just play that through for you once so you can uh, check out how it fits with the melody. So when I see myself in G of trouble, A minor Mary F's to me Sing words of G chord Let it F to C And C my R of G chord She is A minoring right in F of me C chord going to G chord Let it F to C Now the chorus Let it A minor let it C, let it F, and let it C. C chord going to G chord, let it F to C. The chorus again, let it A minor, let it C, let it F, and let it C. C chord going to G chord, let it F to C. So let's have a look now at adding a couple of melody elements to this chord sequence. So uh, for the intro... There's a few nice little things you can do in here. So for the C chord... We can just do a little step down from 3rd fret, 2nd fret, open. On the G chord... We can use a little sus4 there. Little finger going down on the third fret of string one. The A minor. We can use the little finger on the third fret of string two going to the F. Sounds really nice that. And we can do a little first finger lift off and hammer on if you want to get real clever with the F chord. So we end up with C. G, A minor, F, C, G, F, here, so on the F, little finger down on the third fret of the second string again, lift it off, and going to the C. I'll do that really slowly, three, four, one and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four. Remember a lot of these things you can use in other parts of the song and in other songs as well. You know, having a C. 
using those extra notes is quite a fun little thing to do when you've got a C chord. On a G chord, using the sus4 to the G, lift off the second finger for a sus2 shape. Really, really nice little movement. The A minor. Just sounds nice. You can also use... It's another nice little variation. You can explore with the A minor, the F. You can also do... This is a nice one on the F, is lifting off second finger. Makes it a kind of an F add nine. So one of the things you want to try doing is exploring those different kind of chord movements, chord embellishments, and see if you can make up your own version too. The strumming pattern that I'd recommend you start with is really simple, and that's all down strums on one and two and three and four and. So I want a, a little C chord there, one and two and three and four and. So just start with that. Once you feel kind of confident with that, Start doing that. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. And hopefully you can see, so long as I keep my hand moving, I can start it adding in other up strums, you know. So try out some different stuff yourself. As long as you keep that hand moving all of the time, you can add in whatever up strums you want. You know, just explore it. Try and find your own way of doing it. That's part of the beauty of these little instruments is that there's no, it's less set than guitar. You know, you can just explore it and have a little bit of fun and try and find some patterns that you think sound cool. And, and then that's the one that you should play. So uh, have fun with this tune and I'll see you for plenty more uke lessons very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.